Matt Painter, a Purdue Boilermaker through and through, is both a former player and the current head coach of the team. Born in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1970, Painter played point guard for Purdue from 1989 to 1993, even leading the team in assists during his senior year. After graduating, he began his coaching career, eventually returning to Purdue as head coach in 2005, a role he holds to this day. He also served as head coach for the Southern Illinois Seleucus from 2003 to 2004. Matt Painter has carved his name into Purdue basketball history. After honing his coaching skills as an assistant across various programs, Painter returned to his alma mater in 2005, taking the reins from legendary coach Gene Keedy. Painter's impact has been undeniable. Under his leadership, the Boilermakers have become a consistent NCAA tournament contender, reaching the dance 15 times in 19 seasons. This includes seven Sweet 16 appearances, two Elite Eights, a trip to the Final Four in 2023, and a national championship appearance. Beyond postseason success, Painter has established Purdue as a Big Ten powerhouse. The Boilermakers have claimed five regular season conference titles and two tournament championships under his watch. A testament to his coaching prowess, Painter has been named Big Ten Coach of the Year five times, placing him second only to his predecessor, Gene Keedy. Painter's influence extends beyond wins and championships. He's developed a reputation for player development, with nine players reaching the NBA ranks, including three first-round draft picks. Matt Painter's journey from assistant coach to Purdue icon is a story of dedication, talent development, and sustained success. Awards, NCAA Division I Regional, Final Four, 2024. Five times Big Ten regular season championships, 2010, 2017, 2019, 2023, 2024. A two times Big Ten tournament championships, 2009, 2023. A NAP Coach of the Year, 2019. Five times Big Ten Coach of the Year, 2008, 2010, 2011, 2019, 2024. Two times AP Big Ten Coach of the Year, 2023, 2024. MVC Coach of the Year, 2004. Net Worth. As of 2024, Matt Painter's net worth is estimated to be around $10 million. Personal Life family life, and beyond basketball. Away from the court, Matt Painter is a devoted family man. He married his wife Shari in October 2018, and they are proud parents to their three children, Maggie, Braden, and Wyatt. Interestingly, Painter's influence extends beyond basketball. In 1994, he even had a brush with Hollywood, scoring a cameo role in the Nick Nolte film Blue Chips, where he played for the fictional Coast Squad. This experience showcases Painter's athletic background and perhaps a touch of hidden acting talent. Painter's community standing is further highlighted by his participation in the 2009 Indianapolis 500. He served as the honorary starter, waving the green flag to kick off the qualifying round. This prestigious role reflects the respect he commands within the Indiana sports scene. Playing career, Hoosier roots and Boilermaker heart. Hailing from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Matt Painter honed his basketball skills at Delta High School in Muncie under coach Stan Doherty. A diehard Indiana Hoosiers fan, Painter dreamt of playing for the legendary Bobby Knight at IU. However, fate and perhaps Knight's infamous intensity had other plans. Unfazed, Painter landed at Purdue University, his future rival on the court. There, he spent four seasons as a point guard under the tutelage of head coach Gene Keedy, and assistants like Bruce Weber and Steve Lavin. Though his scoring average remained modest at 4.5 points per game, Painter became a leader on the court, starting in 50 games and captaining the team during his senior year. His true impact shone through in his hustle and playmaking, evidenced by his impressive total of 276 assists. Alongside teammates like Jimmy Oliver, Steve Scheffler, and Glenn Robinson, Painter helped propel the Boilermakers to three NCAA tournaments and one NIT appearance. While their deepest run ended in the round of 32, 
the experience undoubtedly fueled Painter's passion for the game and his desire to one day lead a team on a deeper postseason run. His dedication and leadership earned him all Big Ten honorable mention recognition, a significant accomplishment in the conference's powerhouse environment. Coaching career. From forklifts to the big stage, Matt Painter's coaching journey begins. Fresh out of Purdue in 1993, Matt Painter's passion for basketball led him straight to the sidelines. His first stop was Washington and Jefferson College, a Division III program. Despite balancing coaching duties with a forklift operator job, Painter's impact was immediate. The team soared to a stellar 22-3 record and a deep run in the NCAA Division III tournament. After a season at Barton College, Painter leaped Division I, joining the coaching staff at Eastern Illinois. This stint coincided with earning his master's degree, showcasing Painter's dedication to both on-court strategy and academic pursuits. In 1998, a familiar face beckoned Bruce Weber, a former Purdue assistant coach during Painter's playing days, recruited him to Southern Illinois. Together, they turned the tide for the Seleucus program. Within a few years, they went from a losing record to NIT and then NCAA tournament appearances. The 2001-2002 season was a special one, with SIU knocking off powerhouses like Georgia and Texas Tech before ultimately reaching the Sweet 16. Their success even landed them on MTV's True Life, I Am a College Baller. After five seasons at Southern Illinois, opportunity struck. Coach Weber left for Illinois, opening the door for Painter's first head coaching role at the Division I level. Leading the Seleucus to a remarkable 25-5 record and an NCAA tournament berth, Painter cemented his reputation as a rising star. He even earned the distinction of Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year. Little did anyone know, this was just the beginning of a remarkable coaching journey. From rebuilding to renaissance, Matt Painter's early years at Purdue. Matt Painter's arrival at Purdue in 2004 was a homecoming, but it wasn't all smooth sailing initially. Taking over for legendary coach Gene Keedy, Painter faced a daunting task. As part of a planned transition, he served as associate head coach in 2004 to 2005, witnessing a season marred by injuries and suspensions that resulted in a program worst 7 to 21 record. The following season, Painter officially took the reins. Despite missing key players again, the Boilermakers showed promise with wins over ranked Wisconsin and Michigan squads, finishing with a 9-19 record. Year 2 brought renewed hope. With healthy starters, Carl Landry and David Teague back in the fold, Purdue enjoyed an impressive non-conference stretch, including victories over previously unbeaten and top 25, ranked Virginia and Missouri. The season wasn't without its challenges, with a lengthy road game losing streak finally snapped in February 2007. However, the team finished strong, setting a school record for home wins at Mackey Arena and earning a berth in the NCAA tournament. This marked Painter's second appearance as a head coach in the big dance, but the run ended with a loss to eventual national champion Florida. The 2007-2008 season saw Painter embrace a youth movement. With just one senior and a highly touted recruiting class featuring all Indiana natives, the Baby Boilers started strong. Even with a young starting lineup, they secured a signature win against Rick Pitino's ranked Louisville team and rattled off an impressive 11-game conference winning streak. While a loss to rival Indiana snapped their hot streak, Purdue finished the regular season tied for second place and earned a number six seed in the NCAA tournament. There, they extended their first-round winning streak to 10 before falling in the second round. Painter's efforts were rewarded with Big Ten Coach of the Year honors. The 2008-2009 season began with high expectations. Boasting five returning starters, including Conference Defensive Player of the Year Chris Kramer and all-conference selections Etwan Moore and Robbie Hummel, Purdue cracked the top 10 in the preseason polls. Early wins highlighted their potential, but a couple of close losses and a healthy dose of competition in the Big Ten kept them on their toes. However, Painter guided the team to a program-first Big Ten tournament championship and their third straight NCAA tournament appearance. The Boilermakers reached the Sweet 16 before falling to UConn, but the season marked another step forward under Painter's leadership. In just a few short years, Matt Painter had transformed Purdue from a struggling program to a consistent contender. 
His dedication to player development, strategic coaching, and recruiting prowess were laying the foundation for a new era of Boilermaker basketball. Purdue basketball soars under Matt Painter, 2009 to 2010 season. The 2009 to 2010 season marked a high point in the early years of Matt Painter's tenure at Purdue. Building on the previous year's success, Painter's Boilermakers returned a veteran squad with championship aspirations, dominant start and high expectations. The season began with a bang. Purdue rattled off 14 straight wins, tying a program record for the best start in school history. This wasn't a fluke. Painter's team boasted a potent offense led by returning all-conference selections Jawan Johnson, Etwan Moore, and Robbie Hummel. The preseason hype was real, with Purdue receiving a top 10 national ranking by both major polls, the program's highest in over two decades, tournament victories and school records. Victories piled up, including a tournament championship win over Bruce Pearl's ranked Tennessee squad at the Paradise Jam. They continued their dominance at home, defeating another ranked opponent, West Virginia, to remain undefeated in non-conference play, 12-0. Key wins against top 10 teams like Michigan State and Ohio State on the road solidified Purdue's place among the nation's elite. Their relentless pursuit of victory resulted in a 10-game conference winning streak, propelling them to a number three national ranking, the highest of Painter's coaching career, both as a player and head coach overcoming adversity and sharing the Big Ten title. A significant blow came with a season-ending ACL injury to star forward Robbie Hummel. However, this setback didn't derail Purdue's momentum. Painter's leadership and the resilience of his veteran squad kept them focused. They finished the regular season with a share of the Big Ten title, the program's first in 14 years. This accomplishment cemented Painter's reputation as a coach who could elevate his players and achieve sustained success. NCAA tournament run and program milestones. The accolades continued. Painter was named Big Ten Coach of the Year for the second time. Purdue, a number four seed in the NCAA tournament, defeated Siena and Texas A&M before falling to Duke in the Sweet 16. The season ended with a 29-6 record, tying the program record for most wins. A season of promise. The 2009 to 2010 season was a defining moment in Matt Painter's Purdue journey. It showcased his coaching prowess, player development skills, and ability to navigate challenges. The foundation was laid for continued success, with Purdue establishing itself as a force to be reckoned with in the Big Ten and on the national stage. Thank you for watching. For more content like, subscribe and click on the bell notification. We do it now. We do.